Good morning, my brothers and sisters of St. Camillus. I'm Kathy Gallagher and happy to share some reflections on today's reading. In this pandemic, many people have said to me that the thing that they miss most is being able to embrace and see the people they love. And I think for that reason, the, the theme of embrace really jumped out at me from today's readings. The first reading is from the Song of Songs, which is a beautiful celebration of romantic love as a, an invitation from God to us to draw closer. A few passages before today's reading, we hear the woman saying, I found the one whom my soul loves. I held him and would not let go. And then in today's reading, we hear her lover call to her, arise, my beloved, my beautiful one, and come. Let me see you. Let me hear your voice. For your voice is sweet and you are lovely. You know, we often think about our own seeking of God, but I don't know that we often reflect on an image such as this, which is God seeking us, God being madly in love with us, saying, let me see you, let me spend time with you, let me hear your voice, it's so sweet. And I have to admit that when I pray with this image, I blush a little bit that God would talk to me like this. And I am in touch with two things. One is, that is a longing in my heart to be loved like that. And the other is a fear like to be seen so completely means that my imperfections are on display. I often think a lot of us want to get everything right inside and then we'll let ourselves be loved. But oftentimes it's that full accepting love that loves us in our imperfections, in our gifts and our curses. It's that kind of love that actually transforms us. And I think that's the love that God is offering us. Let me see you. Let me hear your voice because your voice is sweet and you are lovely. So I think there's an invitation here for us to spend some time in that embrace, just receiving that kind of fully accepting, fully loving uh, embrace that God is offering to us today. The other embrace that we see is the embrace in the gospel, the scene of the visitation, it's a different kind of embrace. This is a uh, rejoicing between two family members who maybe haven't seen each other in a long while. But the heart of it for me is they embrace each other with joy because they can see and they tell each other, I see how God is acting in your life. So Mary looks at Elizabeth and sees the end of Elizabeth's great heartache, which had been to not have children. And now Elizabeth is pregnant and Mary celebrates God's favor on her. And Elizabeth looks at Mary, her very young, unmarried as yet cousin, who is pregnant. And where other people might have seen shame, Elizabeth says, blessed are you among women and blessed is this fruit of your womb. And blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. So they're both seeing and proclaiming the action of God in, his, in each other's lives. When I worked in uh, Langley Park with the youth group, one of the great joys in my life was I often felt like I could see the light and the giftedness of God that was just brimming over in these young people. And to be able to say, Blessed are you, and just can't wait to see how God is gonna act in your life through your gifts. And I wonder if for many of us who may not see our loved ones this Christmas, if we might not take maybe some extra effort to mirror back to them, here's how I see God's light in you, and encourage them to keep sharing it in the world because a lot of times we doubt ourselves. I mean, Elizabeth could have said, I'm too old for this. And Mary could easily have said, hey, I'm too young for this. But both of them said yes to God's invitation and it changed everything. I see in these readings that God can work through every circumstance, can work through every vessel, if only we say yes. 
kind of like light can travel in and around all objects. God works through our passionate love. God works through our familial affection. God shines through the unconditional love that a baby has for her mother or that a mother has for her baby. Like God shines out everywhere where love is. And so God seeks to embrace us and invites us to say yes. So in these final days of Advent, may God's embrace create light within us. May we embrace the world and shine our light out. May that grace be ours.